and welcome back everybody to farming simulator we are at it again where we left off we got our grass field planted got all these fields uh, limed and ready for planting the only problem is there's going to be no planting until April so what we're going to have to do um, I've gotten quite a few suggestions playing this like oh why don't you put up a greenhouse and do this and do that make some more money um, I could I could do a bunch of logging there's a lot of things I could be doing to be making a lot of money right now but my challenge is I want to see if I can do it just dairy farming I don't want to do anything else I'm thinking eventually once the cows get to making some milk I just want to see if eventually I can pay off that loan just uh, dairy farming um, I am gonna also have some crops I can sell like the oats obviously I need the oats to make the straw uh, for the cows but I'm obviously gonna sell the oats to make a little money too plus I got some soybeans but uh, that's kind of part of dairy farming is some crop farming so uh, I'm gonna let that slip by but yeah that's my goal see if I can make a living just dairy farming and those three basic crops um, uh, being there isn't much I can do right now what I think I'm gonna do uh, I guess I'm just gonna do a bunch of sleeping I got a cute little cabin in here where I can guess I'll just sleep and every day or two I'll check up on the cows see how they're doing I'll have to feed them every couple of days um, once they do start producing milk um, another thing I agreed to do was uh, a lot of stuff in this game uh, like the oats you can hoard them you know store them away in a silo and sell them when the prices are good but when it comes to milk yes you can do that in the game you can hoard it but in real life there's no such thing milk spoils <laughs> so my rule again my game my rule is there's gonna be no hoarding milk every morning once the cows start producing mo uh, milk every morning I'm shipping the milk whatever we got and whatever the price is, I'm shipping it. Because that's my rule. <laughs> and that's the way it was in real life. E every day or every other day, the milk truck came, picked up the milk. Whatever the price was, that's what you got for it. There is no... That was it. So that that's my rule. There's no hoarding milk. When the milk... Like I say, every day, the milk gets shipped. Whatever the price is for it, is what I get for it. So that's, that's one of my rules I'm going to... Uh, definitely stick with so yeah um, I guess uh, I guess we uh, do some sleeping um, why can't I get in this door there we go um, why can't I sleep there we go all right let's sleep until 8 o'clock tomorrow morning uh, do a quick check on the cows here see how they're doing and uh, yeah until spring <laughs> I might have to borrow a little bit more money. Uh, I think I'm kind of done leasing equipment. Um, so let's see how the cows are doing here. We got to check on them every day. Make sure they got getting some slurry. They're not eating as much as I thought they was gonna. But then again, they're just calves. They're only two months old. I'm assuming once they start growing up and start making milk I'm assuming the food's really gonna suck down quickly so yeah I guess uh, more sleep <laughs> there isn't much else I can do until uh, we get going here anyway that's that's gonna be my thing sleep feed cows sleep and uh, I'll meet you back here in April I'll be hibernating for a little while <sighs> Yum. 
Ah, uh, don't you wish you could do that in real life? Just sleep off the winter? I know I wished I could have did that this winter. <laughs> Would have been nice. Let's see how we're doing here. Oh, the snow is all gone. How nice. Alrighty, let's quick check on the cows. Uh, yeah, they didn't. I didn't have to even feed them uh, all the while I slept. They definitely ate some of the hay, about half. Uh, I definitely don't want to feed them any more hay. I want to uh, just feed them just enough hay to keep them going because uh, to switch over to total mixed ration so I can totally fill this up, I want to make sure they get all that hay eaten. Um, all the hay and the hay mow, um, I don't know, maybe when the price is good, maybe I'll sell some of it. I always want to keep a little bit of hay. It's nice to know that it's there for emergency purposes, you know. A good farmer always has a little extra hay laying around. Anyway, if we check at the calendar here, it is April now. We can definitely plant all the crops that we want to plant. I want to plant my oats, my corn, and my soybeans. And in order to do that, to <coughs> excuse me, in order to do that, we have to go see Amy. I got a really nice planter picked out. You're going to love this planter I found. It is so awesome. See you at the shop. Oh no, did I really forget to turn all that? Oh my god, I was getting charged for that. Um, luckily I didn't save my game here. Uh, I got to redo this here. Um, back in a little bit. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, if you remember in the in the last episode, uh, I had to redo this grass field because of a game glitch it, uh, I had to fix. And then uh, when I released the equipment, uh, I forgot to return it. And all the while we were sleeping through the winter, I was getting charged for that leased equipment. I lost a lot of money doing that. So I luckily I didn't save the game. I went back in time. Returned the stuff, slept through the winter, and yeah, I, I got my $4,000 back. So uh, uh, that's one of my little rules. If, if the game glitches or if it's something that's totally out of my control, not my fault, I am not paying for that. Uh, if I do make a mistake and it's not the game's fault, then I will pay for it. I'll take, take it. But for screw-ups like that, I am not eating that. So that's where the Power Tools mod really comes in handy, you know. You know, it's silly to pay for a mistake when it's not your fault, it's the game's fault. So, okay, back to where, what I was doing. We was going to get a planter. Ugh. You know, another thing I would really like to get but that's kind of a luxury item. Uh, I would love to wash this tractor off. Oh, uh, let's see what that costs. Maybe it's not so bad. I believe it's under tools. Yeah, four thousand five hundred dollars for a power washer. I I might let's see what this planter costs first, because uh, I know my sister. She likes to watch these videos, and I'm sure this is just driving her up a wall right now because she, she's a. Uh, I don't want to say a clean freak, but uh, she definitely hates things that are dirty. You know what? Maybe I'll just leave it dirty just to annoy her. <laughs> when are you going to wash your tractor? Anyway, okay, let's... Whoops. Hey, we don't we don't need a chainsaw. <laughs> I bumped the button there. Okay. Hello, Amanda. It is spring. I want to buy a planter. What you got for planters? Yeah, I got a really I found a really nice uh corn planter mod here. There it is. Yes. Oh ouchie. Oh I know I said I was gonna buy it because well I mean we're gonna be planting every year. What does it cost to lease it? Oh. I really hate to lease this because I really want it. But man, that requires borrowing more money from the bank. 
Uh, let's see, we got to make sure we get the right extensions here. I don't want liquid fertilizer. I want, uh, yeah, dry tanks. Definitely got to have that. Standard, yeah. We don't want the twin tanks. Yeah, it's got to be dry tanks. $47,000 we got to borrow. Ouch. Of course, we haven't borrowed a whole lot of money. I mean, I've been pretty stingy. Uh, I think the loan is at one and a quarter right now, which is not bad. It's not bad at all. So let's... Yeah, well, I'm going to need a little money for seeds too. Yeah, let's go to 175. I mean, we're still under 200,000. I've seen uh, gamers play this game and they'll go up to three or four hundred thousand dollars in debt. I think 500 is the limit. So we're not doing that bad. I don't think we're doing too bad. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, there isn't anything else that I can think of until, well, until fall when we do have to get a harvester. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to buy that. Where did we go? There we go. And we want the dry tanks. We got it. It's ours. Okay. Thank you again, Amanda. Let's go get some crops in the ground. Uh, one thing I didn't check was the horsepower on that. It seems like I used it before, though. It wasn't that bad. Uh, oh, yeah. My tractor will handle that easily. No problem. I love this corn planter. This is very, very, very close to the one my neighbor had. I don't think it was quite this wide. I think his was only a six row, where this is, what, a one, two, six, seven, eight, nine, what, 12? I think this is 12. It's a nice wide planter. So, yeah, we're going to get some corn and soybeans planted with this baby. Back to the fields. Well, I gotta fill it first. And I should have more than enough in the pick back of the pickup truck to fill it with. Let's see, open the covers. Get some seeds in here. Um, oh wow, it sucked them dry pretty quick. Ooh -wee. And fertilizer. Yeah, we might have to go buy some more seeds. <laughs> well, let's see how far this takes us. I am noticing the tractor is struggling with this a little bit. This might be a little big for this tractor. The tractor is 180, and according to the uh, thing, it only requires a 120 horsepower tractor to drive it. But I don't know. She she acts like she struggles a little bit. We'll see how it handles. Alrighty, let's get some GPS going here. There we go. Get some corn in the ground here. Uh, I just thought of another expense I'm going to have to eat a little bit. Uh, if I want a really good yield, I'm going to have to spend a little money on a sprayer for herbicide because I, I want to make dang sure I ain't got no weeds either. Alright, let's get some corn on the ground here. Yeah, it sounds like she's handling it okay. I think we'll be alright. Getting some corn on the ground anyway. Well, it's going to take a little while to get this planted, so I'll, I'll be back with you. And I'll have to run to the store and get some more seeds and stuff, obviously. Because I don't think that little... Of course, it's not going down too fast. But I also got that other field over there. I also got uh, soybeans to plant, so I'm sure I'm going to have to go get some more seed and fertilizer. So I'll be back with you when I get this done. She 
She does struggle a little bit on the hills here, but it doesn't stop it. it just slows her down a little bit, but yeah, otherwise it's uh it's handling it pretty good. Well, almost got the cornfield completely done. I think I might have enough seed to do the other field. Uh, maybe if I just go pick up one more pallet of uh, solid fertilizer, we'll be all set. Scratch the paint! It was already open. <laughs> yeah, should be enough to finish. I think we'll jump right into soybeans right away as long as I'm on a roll here. The field is right here. Uh, looks like I should have enough seed and fertilizer to do that. These fields are approximately kind of about the same. So, yeah, worst case scenario, I gotta run to the store and get some more. No biggie. No, not sunflowers. Soybeans! Yes, that's what we want. Let's see. Down, forward. And in goes the soybeans. Yeah. Uh, so close. Ugh. Well, I'm gonna need some seeds for. Uh, I'm gonna need some seeds for plant notes anyway. So, yeah, <laughs> it's so funny how close I'm, I'm calculating that, but yet. Close, but not close enough. I think I'll get another pallet of seeds and another, maybe another pallet of uh, fertilizer. I want to drive on my new crops. Okay. Another pallet of seed. It's only money. <laughs> what did uh, I watch uh, a channel, uh, uh, Virtual Farmer, I think. Uh, he did a, a, some videos where uh, he, he was on this map and what did he go, like three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars in debt? So, I didn't hit the two hundred mark yet, but, so. oh well, go spend some more money. Let's see. I think I'll just put just enough in here to finish. As, uh the rest of that, if I save it, I think I'll have enough to get the oats planted here. So we want to fill just the seeds. No, not the fertilizer. How do we switch that? Uh, how do we switch to just fertilizer? Maybe if I pull ahead a little further? Or I'll just back up. That'll work. I want it to just fill the seed, not the fertilizer. If I go just enough, just so it 
No, it's still doing the fertilizer. Well, maybe if I go ahead. Where it just touches the seed pallets. There we go. That might be enough to do it right there. I didn't need much. So we'll try that. There should be more than enough there, I would think, to do the oats field. That planter's already full, so I think we got this under control here. Get her done! <sighs> Dropped us off on our little shed here. There. We should be able to hook on to the other planter and get some oats in the ground. I figure get all the get all the planting done at once and then uh, then I can roll all the fields. Let's see, we got to switch this to oats. Not wheat, not barley. Oat! There we go. One more field to go. This field is going to take a little bit longer. Man, I missed that nice big wide planter, or the other planter already. This shouldn't take too long though, this one's pretty narrow. This one's a little smaller than the other fields. So, and it, and uh, I think I, I think I go a little bit faster with this planter. So, this shouldn't take too long of a thing. Then it's going to take a long time to get this all rolled. And then another thing I forgot about. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to borrow and spend a little more money. I gotta get this sprayed with herbicide, otherwise these weeds are gonna take over. So, yeah, planting, get it rolled. Then I gotta get it sprayed with herbicide, and then hopefully, um, I don't know if I'll have enough. Uh, I do gotta, the heifer calves are finally starting to make a little bit of slurry here, so I might be able to fertilize uh, some of this. Uh, I don't think I got nowhere near enough to do all these fields but it'll it'll help some so that's that's an option too to get it all fertilized although I think it's already fertilized pretty good let me check here I know the first time you do do it it's uh, not too bad uh, come on load okay there we go uh, if we turn off the weeds and turn off the rolling Yeah, these are these are fertilized uh, pretty decently, so I, I think we're gonna be all right. I mean, there, there's some spots here that are only half fertilized. Uh, ignore the yellow; them are the rocks. I'm gonna get rolled in with the roller, but if you look at the, the we need the darker blue, like a good majority of the grass is darker blue. There's a little patch here that isn't, but uh, yeah, and this will this will turn a darker blue once I get this planted. I mean, there's a a, a couple spots here that aren't dark blue but it overall it's, it's pretty good we should get a pretty yield out of all of it so I, i'm very happy with that so yeah after rolling uh herbicide can be a little bit expensive but uh i definitely got to do something because if you look at all these all these weeds here those babies are just going to pop right back up again so we, we got to do the herbicide so we'll get there we'll get there all in good time we'll get there Mm -mm. That grass looks like it's just about almost ready to harvest already. I think we got one more stage yet though. Although according to this it doesn't. Usually that's how it, if you look at the grass and it starts getting little flowers on the top. That means it's ready for harvest. Um, I might give it one more month. I might wait until May because I, I think there's another stage here yet. Although it says ready to harvest. Um, I think I'll give it one more month though just to be on the safe side before I start harvesting that. Anyway, back to planting. I just looking at it here thinking, boy, that grass is looking pretty tall already. So we'll get there all in good time, all in good time. Hmm. OK. 
Okay, well that's that's not too bad. I'd say I got about half the field done. Let's see, let's open that up. Uh, where's my pick 'em up truck? There he is. Should be more than enough seed and fertilizer in here to finish the job. Yeah, that little bitty planter doesn't hold very much. But it goes quite a ways for what little bit it does hold. Out of the way, bird. Refill. There we go. We are good to go again. Go park it to pick them up, up truck off to the side. Yeah, they don't take hardly anything off of that. <laughs> Not compared to the other planter. Oh yeah, we should have more than enough to finish this job. That's good enough. We might need a little bit more, so I don't want to run run away with the pick 'em up truck too far. Weed large, yeah, I definitely definitely uh, got that part right. <laughs> herbicide, yeah, it needs herbicide, no doubt. I know, I always got just a teeny weeny little bit left and I just can't quite make it. Good thing I parked the truck right here. Refill. Yay, the oats are in. We are done with that. Park it in the shed. Now we have to hook up to the rolly rollers. We got a lot of rolling to do. If I can back up to them here. I got them parked in the brush here by this big rock. Yeah, we got... Uh, Three big fields to roll. That's going to take a while. So, yeah. Back in a little while. That took a little while, but the rolling is just about done now. Nice. Alright, one final check. Yeah, basically you want as much dark blue as you can get. Uh, these, this means it's the first time we planted. I'm not going to worry about this little bit. To me, I don't think it's worth buying the fertilizer. and I think we can slip by the first year. But the goal is you want this all nice dark blue. Now, in order to prevent this blue turning green with weeds, I'll have to look at some uh, sprayers, get some herbicide on there. First, let me get this thing parked. Then we'll go look at some... Uh, Sprayers, whether I'm gonna lease one or buy one. Let's see what's available first. I love how these rollers, if you're not on your land, you can go fast. But as soon as you go back on your land, 
<laughs> I just find that amusing. But they work. So that's all they did. They did what they needed to do, and they were cheap. Alright, let's head to the store and see what we can find for sprayers. <sighs> I really hate that I keep having to do this. <sighs> 175. <laughs> well, we're up to $200,000 in debt now. Okay. I did find I was I, I thought I had I love this little guy. I wish I would have found this guy earlier for uh, spread and lime. This is nice and cheap. Kind of teeny though, but but it is a nice cheap option. Uh, first, her herbicide sprayers. This is the best I could find so far. Uh, it's half the price of what the stock game was, and it, it's got the older style look to it. So I'm thinking. This is going to have to be our sprayer. I'm getting sick of leasing stuff. I want to buy buy enough stuff so I got enough stuff to do things. So I think that's going to be our new herbicide sprayer. Got to get these fields done. Not sure how else, how else to do it. Hopefully I don't have to come back here 10-15 times to fill it. Herbicide usually, uh, it's expensive, but it usually spreads, uh, kind of slow. Alright, let's bring it back down to almost zero again. I don't want a bunch of weeds in my field. Yep, $7,000. Hopefully, that may be enough, may be enough to do all the fields, I don't know. We shall see. Does seem to have a fairly decent work with for a little sprayer. I... Well, it's kind of too early to tell, but I kind of got my doubts there's going to be enough in here to do all three of these big fields. Guess we'll find out. It's got a pretty good work speed though, so we we might... Uh, I don't know. Just too early to tell. I guess we'll just see how far we get. It's gonna be close, but I think we might make it on one tank. I'd say we're probably close to half done and we got about 60%. I think we might pull this off. The spare might be just the right, perfect little size for these fields. We'll soon out. We'll find out soon enough. Well, look at that. It is all herbicide. Fields are complete. We should be. I don't think this shows when you spray it that I know of with the herbicide but you will know if you didn't spray it with herbicide because this blue will start turning green with weeds so yes well I think it's that time I'd <coughs> I think it's that time to call it a quits here uh, I think I got about 30 40 minutes of video. I, I, I like to try to keep my videos under an hour and I try to cut out all the boring stuff as much as I can, the repetitive stuff. So yeah, until next time. Uh, I think next time uh, I might skip ahead a month and by then uh, this grass should be fully mature enough to uh, chop and hopefully get it in that silo over there. So then we can make some haylage, uh, but it won't it won't make haylage until well. How do I explain this? I need 
halage and chaff to make the TMR. So basically I'll cut this. You'll see it next time. I think I explained it before how them silos work. But uh, yeah, we need some uh, grass and we need some chopped corn. And we can get started on that. So yeah, next episode should be grass and uh, I should be able to get a silo blower and... Uh, Shoot, I didn't buy any of that, did I? I don't even have a hay bind anymore. I think I leased that all last time. Ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. That means i got to borrow more money again. Ugh. Yeah, unfortunately, I really don't have any income until uh, these cows start making some milk. And that's going to be a little while yet. Yeah, eight months. And I don't think these mature until 18 months. So we got 10 more months yet before we get some milk. At least we're getting some slurry out of the deal. That'll be, that'll be nice. That'll help with fertilizing a little bit. So, well, okay. Until next time. Bye-bye.